Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of our Indy. This is Captain April, and these are the days of our Indy. Okay, get this in here. All right. I said headphones on because I was told, you know, if I was going to do a deep dive on her, on Indy's latest rant here, so I'm, very, I'm hearing different things. Okay, might as well. Okay, so, so we're going to bring this in here. Anyway. Yo, hello. Check out the outfit. By the way, this is not a, not a thing guys do. Okay. Very rarely I'm like, hey, check out my new shirt. Check out their shirt. Isn't it great? And then, you know, only when I get that social media was a mistake shirt that I really do. Otherwise, like, you don't care. You know, I think she don't give a She thinks she's a guy. You're not a guy, okay? Also, you'll know, note that the other thing, my little OCD issue, I hate mirrored videos, okay? So I had to flip, you know, flip it around through things. So, so I actually, you know, this is what I'm a real person. Skirt. Yeah, it's very manly Hi, skirt. What's up? So I'm back. Yeah. Doing another little chat. Chat with me video. So, let's see. Where did we leave off? Last time we chatted, I feel like I was not feeling the best. Um, and I mean, that hasn't really improved all that much. I think I covered that one. Why things aren't going, it's not working. Deep down, you know it is. And my mouse is being playful again. Yeah, as far there. as work, just feeling a bit, don't know where I'm going with things at the moment, but I am going to try something new. I'm going to try and do like a serialized set of videos. So we're going to be trying that on Precise, see if that's any fun. Kind of like a soap opera. I already got the title sequence already done for you. We played at the beginning. Feel free to use it. My gift to you. What else? I finally got my T levels tested so I can start testosterone. I put it off for a while because I have a huge phobia of needles, which is going to be so fun when the surgery happens. Yeah, I also covered that you don't want to start this. Okay, seriously? How many times? You know, let me point out, you know, and you said again. Up until Thanksgiving, you said you don't want to do the, the hormones. You don't want the effects. What the fuck happened here? Somehow they got into your head. Oh, it's the next step. You have to do it. No, you don't. Don't. Okay. Ooh. Oh, also, I'm engaged. You can kind of see it right now. Anyway, I'm engaged. Yeah, the, yeah, this is about their fifth time being engaged. So... so. Place your bets. How long this one last? This four has gotten slightly better recently. The lighting here is so weird right now, by the way. I'm sorry. It's because a few things. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, this four, it, it means you ain't got it. Okay. You got a little body dysmorphia playing on your borderline personality. Can't you, you know? Because gender dysphoria doesn't, you, it's, you know, again, you, you would have been running to the surgeon. But by the time you're 18, in fact, it's taken this long. No, you got something else going on there. The problem is not your tits, your trauma. It's in between your ears, dear. Chopping your tits off and going to testosterone is not going to solve a goddamn thing. You know it, and you pretty much admit it later on here. Dysphoria. The dysphoria is <laughs> slightly better at the moment. Um, so it's been slightly easier to film stuff. That's why you've seen a few more like girl cosplays and stuff. I'll probably try to do a bit more cross dressing while I still have the energy to. Um, I keep debating. What yeah, uh, a note about that last video you put up. And again, this will I'll bring this up later, talking about why certain things are going up. Something I never thought I would say about one of your videos. It was boring. 
I was bored to tears of that. And one reason, because you could tell you had no heart in it. There was no light in those eyes. It was dead. And it's just like, what the hell? You're just going through the motions. Like there was no, there was no enthusiasm about this whole thing. Even when you grab the Itachi, it's like nothing. It's like. Whether or not I want to make like a separate account just for like girl content and a separate account for boy content, but I feel like that's too much work. Like I'm not going to upkeep it at all. You're not upkeeping what you got now. That the counter on your current website has not been updated since before the last fun, you know, top 5,000. It's still sitting at 1340 something. You haven't updated that one. And the only updates I've seen has been moving all your photo sets behind that white knight paywall. You can't even see the samples. And no one's joining the White Knight Night because White Knight Club because they got the little group of bullies. No one wants to associate with them. You're killing your brand. Okay. I am gonna keep like exclusively femboy slash boy con. I'm just gonna do my normal stuff on uh on my like my safer work, safer work like side accounts. Um, like the Indigo X White on Twitter, and then. The shit, what's the username for it? I'll put it up. The one on TikTok, the other account on TikTok, NPC Femboy, I think. Yeah, I think it is NPC Femboy for that one. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna post more on those and um, see if that does anything. Um, it won't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really hoping that just like once I get surgery, things will be a lot better. But I you I don't, don't do really surgery on the hope that it'll get like, better. I mean, it will help me drastically. The fuck I it will. Infinitely fucking better. But I mean, Indy, surgery is for is really a last resort type thing. As any competent doctor, surgery is the last thing you want to do. That's something where you, you the person's life is in there. You got to get something out or to fix something. It's not something, well, let's hope this will fix a mental issue. What do they got to get to wake me up? You're, you're talking about physical changes for a mental issue. And you hope it'll work. And if it doesn't, you're fucked. Because you can't walk that bad. They can't just put them back and put those tits back in. They burn them. And you're now, you're, now you're, just, you're just a flat just a girl with hor horrible scars. No one's going to want to buy that. Your business will be officially dead at that point. I don't know how much it will help with, like, um, finding the people who will actually enjoy my content. It won't. I know they're out there. But I'm also like, do I have to, like, completely scrap and start over and, like, lie to people that I'm a cis guy? Is that the only way to make people okay with my content or something? That's just boring. We covered that last time. You couldn't pass for a cis guy if your life depended on it. And right now it's getting to the point where it does almost. You know, the, I, re I reference you back to the trip to the pet store. That clerk. You don't, you're not a guy. You do not pay. Even just walking normal. Baggy shirt and t-shirt. You know, baggy t-shirt and shorts and a hat. Just still, as a girl. It doesn't work, Indy, okay? And I think that's the whole thing of what, you know, the, no, the tits are just a dead giveaway of reality. And that is your problem, right? You're having a problem with reality. Time to get back in touch with it, okay? Because that's what's going to bite you in the ass when it turns out your little fantasy world falls apart. The surgery doesn't work. The testosterone doesn't work. Only makes things worse. But then, you would say, too far. There's no backing up now. You'll only have the old content there at that point. No one's going to want the new stuff. They barely want the new stuff now. Because you've driven away so many fans. They've had it. Yeah. I don't want to lie. I'm a bad liar. <laughs> Lying Absolutely to yourself, get why people feel the need to go stealth, though, with how crazy people are. Dude, if I could do that and I didn't have an online identity already, I would totally just do that. But I kind of make porn. It's a little hard mm -hmm. to hide that. And uh, unfortunately, um, 
my style of being a trans guy isn't like the most marketable in porn, which. Uh, hold on. Let's finish. Let's go further. I personally don't understand at all. I feel like it's perfect for porn, but whatever. Because you're not a guy. This is the big thing why, no, you do not have a male brain because you do not understand the basics of pornography, uh, why it appeals to guys, which are the primary consumers of it. Gay men do not want to see a vagina. They want to see a live dick. If they're looking for femboys, they're looking for people like Domino Presley, something, or people like that, where there's a live dick underneath those tits, okay? They see you doing your stuff. You're supposed to be femboy. They see you playing with a plastic dick. It's like you're making fun of them. You're insulting them. That's why you got booted off a of Pornhub. I mean, they did the work around it. It's like, you know, well, you've got, you need a license for these you know videos here, which were, I, were gone for a while. But now suddenly they, they appeared at the last second. Oh, boom. That's our excuse. Bye. Because also keep in mind you're dealing with very skeezy people at Pornhub and Fansly. You're not the only girl getting screwed over in Fansley, okay? The way they got it set up, the payment goes to a third party, and they'll get, that's why the rules change every five minutes. And apparently there's another option out there that you know that I will tell you about if we can finally start talking again. But until then, I'm not going to help you out of this one. you got to figure out yourself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. I'm going to try to do a serialized set of videos or kind of like a show like a porn show but like with an actual plot and stuff so it's not like just exclusively porn that will just like also there will be porn and it's not going to shy away from there being actual porn mm -hmm. but it'll be like a pov show i think what we're going to go with is like the setup for it is going to be like brothel video diaries so it's like that way i have an excuse that i'm just in this one room <laughs> But it'll be like video diaries from a room in a brothel. Well, like I said, I'm here's the perfect title. Mm -hmm. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our indie. So, so we can get, we're ready to go. That'll I, I, be my gift to you. We can just rework things a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, like one character's room specifically and we'll do like before and after clients and stuff i feel like that's a fun idea to bounce off of it gives us a lot to work with so yeah we're gonna be doing brainstorming for that on stream kitty stop fucking making biscuits on her every piece of furniture is for biscuits mm -hmm. apparently yeah, if you guys have any ideas of how for how I get out of this like shadow ban rut, please let me know. I'm open to ideas at the moment, although I'm also like I, I'm limited on what I actually have the time to do outside of what I'm already doing. Yeah. Well, how about this? Uh, pull your head out of your ass. Re recognize you are a almost you're a grown ass woman pushing thirty. Stop making shit for pedophiles. Once upon a time, just ooh, less than two years ago, you were fine with growing older, getting into transitioning to doing older roles, older cosplays, doing the you know the this the, the perverted sex you know stepmom instead of the stepsister, that sort of thing. The secretary things you know working, you know, just you know do the evil executive you know the boss you know. That sort of thing. But also, it's like, get, you know, you know, the whole trans thing is falling apart everywhere. It's finally starting to come down here. There's a few holdouts. Unfortunately, you're right at ground zero of one of the holdout areas. So they, they ultimately, I'd say just getting the hell out of Seattle, but that's not going to happen. So you really want to get ahead of something, be a bit of a, you know, start, you know, recognize that you've been sucked into a fucking cult. And you're surrounded by enablers, a bunch of yes men, which you seem to originally hated when you're on Tumblr last time. So I was surrounded by yes men in an echo chamber. Get the people away from you. Stop listening to them. 
Because later on, somebody wants some new people to talk to. Well, no one's going to as long as those idiots are there blocking everybody out. No. Let's continue. I don't know. Should I just like start a whole new account and abandon the old one for a bit? Would that work? Do you think? I feel like just continuing to post and wait for it to come back around is the best method. Probably because uh, two-time award winner in ten years of in various form, you know, the posting stuff, and like, like I said, you got a wagon train of shit behind you, you know, enough to fertilize the cyanide here. Okay, you're too well known. You, you know, that's again one of the things I made in our little court case. You and I are both technically. Uh, public figures. You more than me. You got the bigger presence. But even me and my little paltry little thirteen hundred some subscriber channel and thirteen hundred zero followers on on Twitter. We're both public figures. And you're trying to involve the court in a tw in a Twitter fight. You and you, neither of us are immune from public criticism because you're doing this publicly. So you want to might want to rethink what you're aligned with here and who you're aligned with here. And maybe try a little something because, you know, again, I got a list of detransitioners in my list growing by the day. Listen, a few of them I think I've got pretty decent friends with. And one of them is in town with you. She's in Seattle. And she went through the testosterone and stuff and she didn't do any surgery. But she's got the screwed up voice. And, th and uh, again, uh, we'll hook you up and go to a Starbucks somewhere nearby and talk it out. And she'll tell you, yeah, live five years as a guy. It's not what you think it is. It doesn't work, okay? Stop now before you do something fucking stupid. Like go on you know, injections and stuff, you know? Definitely. You know. It's always worked before because this is not like a new thing, but... Because before you didn't totally un -up your un -up upend your brand. You totally destroyed your brand with the, you know, going through this trans thing. You started putting material nobody really wanted. You stuck it out because, well, we're personal affection to you. But after a while, it's like, forget it. She's, she's nuts. This is stupid. This isn't, this isn't funny. It's like watching her jerk off a plastic dick. No, we don't see anything. How is this supposed to be alluring to the typical porn consumer? It isn't. Okay. And it's gotten to the point where now it's like nothing's selling anymore. Yeah. It's a long time of it. And I'm kind of like, I love you guys, the people who constantly always watch my stuff. But like, I kind of want some new people to talk to also. <laughs> I would. Again, stop surrounding yourself with fucking bullies who seem to think you're there, you belong to them. We've seen it in action. Somehow one of them has gotten they've managed to apportion themselves the moderator problem moderator powers on Fansly and are blocking people. People have been booted from chat. Well, you're not even near the keyboard. You don't know what's going on. You're setting up a camera there, and suddenly their chat goes bye-bye. Well, no, so and so's been booted, you know. Like to have it not be all the same people all the time would be a little nice, but um Stop blocking people. That's the first step right there. Stop blocking people. Unblock some people you have blocked. Not just me, but others. Because you've got nothing but your little clusterfuck of, you know, pedophiles who want to see you turned into a 14-year-old boy for their little pleasure. I've seen the... I've, they're not just past... I have seen directly the tweets of Gene cheering you. Oh, you look so hot when you chop your tits off. Fuck you. They're not your tits. You ain't got to say it. Shut the fuck up. You want a femboy? Go look for one. Stop trying to make one out of this one. No, he, he, he went after me on Tumblr because I posted on that. What the? And he called me every vile name he could think of. And it's like, what the fuck did it do to you, asshole? I wasn't talking to you anyway. Go the fuck away. Yeah, anyway. How about politics, huh? So many weird people. Let's look at the couch. The couch is a fly is a fucking lie. Okay, somebody picked up and they're going that no, JD Vance did not fuck a couch. 
I don't know where the you know no one knows where the fuck that came from. The comments are gonna turn into such a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Uh, I mean, at least politics are interesting again. It's not just old men yelling at each other. That's honestly the only thing I'm happy about. And otherwise, it's like, it's politics. It's always disappointing. <laughs> I also think it's, uh, I think I was watching. Oh my god, Mies. No, jeez, much Um, I was fucking, I was watching that, Charlie's video. A, you, how many fucking edits can you cram into one video? Because, uh, Andy, it kind of makes you look a little more disjointed than anything. Because like, how, what was, what's, you know, what are you snipping out? You know, it's like you got to work on the edits. I was talking about how the internet used to be an escape for him, but with how just shit everything seems to be recently, it's kind of more of the opposite. Like real life is the escape now. Uh, that might be a good thing. Because yeah, the internet is is always been, especially Twitter and Tumblr. Oh my God, is a second fucking cesspool, and TikTok is like it's a breeding ground for this idiocy. It's like that's you know, like I said, as far as TikTok goes, yeah, post your dance videos and that, but do not do not take advice from anybody on there. Jeffrey Marsh is on the the man needs to be put under the prison. Definitely check his hard drive. Yeah. And I hate that I agree with that because the internet's always been like a go-to place for me. That's part of your problem, Indy. <laughs> it's like, thank God I grew up when I did this. Now I did not have to rely on the internet for anything. Actually, I had to go out and actually play with stuff and touch grass. You know? Interact with real life human beings face to face. You know. But like, damn, kind of rough moment not not that fun to be on i feel like everything is just so fucking negative all the time eh. <laughs> i'm trying to find a way that i can uh, make stuff that's like relatable for people again that's not well i think stop trying to act like you're a boy when it's clear you're not the only conclusion i'm getting is that this girl is nuts That that's what I mean. It's like who who should think she's fooling? Okay, it's like, no. As negative, like I guess I can make more wholesome videos again. That's always an option. I do like making wholesome videos, but then I feel like I'm not. I feel like it's not enough sexual stuff, and then I feel like people are gonna be disappointed if I just do wholesome stuff. Like obviously not like completely wholesome because like it's me. <laughs> can't do that but wholesome for the most part like i always feel i always feel like i am letting people down if i don't give like the full spectrum of nudity and stuff throughout a video but if i guess that's not true then people do like wholesome stuff so i don't know what do you guys think what do you what do you think what do you think chat well uh you have been neglecting your YouTube channels. That's why I got demonetized. I, you know, you haven't done a Teddy Chan's. And frankly, the Teddy Chan streams are not do much anyway because you just do design stuff. But you haven't done a Teddy Chan, Chan stream in a month. But you know, these they don't keep these things monetized forever. Okay, it doesn't matter how many followers you got. If you don't put up new content, they're going to demonetize it. And that's what happened to your. You know, it's what's happened to your main channel. You know, I don't know what's going on with the Teddy Chan either, but it's like you don't post stuff on a regular basis. They demonetize them. You let your main YouTube channel go dormant for about the better part of a year, and you wonder why I get demonetized? Mine, I mean, mine's not any great shakes there, but it hasn't been demonetized for lack of activity. That's for damn sure. I try to make you know, get stuff at least every few days, at least. But yeah, you start doing you know, blogs and stuff. You get back the way you were every every week or so. Get something up here. It's always been helpful. It's always been here for me, even when I do stuff you don't like. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Feeling I'm in my I'm in a sl I'm in my slump era for sure. Just because I'm not like I get inspired to make stuff vaguely nothing specific and then when i go to actually make something specific i'm like eh, it's not exactly what i want it's okay though or like 
I'll make something I am proud of and then it just like fucking flops and I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> there was that, um, attempt, <sighs> but like, it's hard because I spend myself spending more time online hanging out with friends and family and stuff. And like, that's always really enjoyable. But then I go back and I'm like, okay, time to work. And I feel like I've missed out on so fucking much. Stop investing so much time in online crap. Okay. That, again, that's part of the problem. I guess probably the recent generations of this online has been a thing. It's like, this is not the real world. Quit treating it like it is. God. That's also the worst part. I hate it. But I don't know. 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 Yeah, I'm still having fun creating stuff, but I'm not having fun posting it, I think is the current problem. I have all of this want to like make content and then it just gets deflated really quickly by just the state of things, which is not great. But like, it's not like it's burnout because I still have the desire to make stuff. I still have ideas stuff I want to make. So I don't know guys. Work slump. Eh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Ugh bro I ran out of fucking time. Anyway cut me off. I forget what I was saying. I'm sure it'll come back. It's fine. I don't know. Well I don't I totally forgot what I was fucking saying. Anyway I'm gonna try again to like get the bulk of the old videos re-uploaded to my site. Um best that I can. I'm probably gonna have some help doing that so if like the thumbnails and titles are a little off or whatever it's because i didn't upload it um you need a better greater control over your website you're you're ceding too much control to people who don't necessarily have your best interests at heart okay i think one of the uh, little theories going around of you know again the accusations out there that Gene has been selling your content behind your back, including your personal contact information, hence the recent screw of doxing. But uh, theory is besides, you know, him wanting to turn you into a little fanboy for his own little thing. He's also, he wants to corner the market on your older material. You want the old stuff, you got to go to him. Now, granted, things are not working out like that because you're putting up your old, trying to put your old stuff up for free. I still think you can monetize that better. Like, yeah, free to view, but if you want to download it, you have, to, like, have a little, like, 99 cent for a standard def and, you know, like, 2 dollars for a high def. That you can make some money off of, dear. Okay? You can make some bank on that, but are you doing it? No. Like, did you take any business classes at all? You know? Because, you know, putting all the photo set, that, that was probably the one decent thing you had going for money-making thing, and you put it behind a fucking paywall. You can't even see the samples. Nobody knows even if there's anything worth it in there. Especially if they got to put up with your idiot friends and your you know, white knight you know, group. You're slitting your throat on that one. Okay? But I'm going to try to get some of those re-uploaded. As much of it re-uploaded as possible. Because, I mean, yeah, dude, just all of my fucking videos being gone off for him really sucks ass. Sucks so much ass. I really wish they hadn't done that for no fucking reason. They had a good fucking reason. You were pissing off a large chunk of the clientele. All the gay guys on there go look, looking for femboys. Find you because you're still you're still ranked like in the 50s. So your name comes right up. They look at it. What the fuck is this? This is not what I'm looking for. Get get this bitch out of here. Who she fucking thinks she's good? She's making fun of us. Fuck her. Get rid of her. That's why you got booted off Pornhub. Like I said, they used the uh, videos of you and Ty as, a, as an excuse, but I think that's why they booted you. Because, no, you were not, you know, yeah, you got the gender change. But the, 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 all the videos on there said, this is not a male, okay? I don't give a shit what it says on a driver's like, this is not a, this is not a, a, a guy. And they were getting blowback. I've seen the, you know, the things, hey, we finally got her. so fun oh and i was having computer issues for like weeks i don't even know like a month god i finally got my stream computer back finally so i'll probably do some more youtube streams again um probably gonna do some more vlogs don't know what though don't know what of yet 
let me know and yeah what what kind of content should i make chat what should i do what should i make what should i do should i just focus on youtube instead <laughs> at least it's still up and running and i don't know i you know it's got super chats and it was so i assume it's monetized again but you know Again, fansies fucking you over six ways on Tuesday like they do so many other girls. Because the way they got set up, I think YouTube's probably the best bet you got as far as getting a you know, regular income going again. So you want to get that going. Get back into the blogs. and I may bring this up to the judge, you know. Part of the settlement deal is you got to do some live streams with me. We start talking this shit out. Almost guarantee it's not going to happen, but it's worth a shot. Should I just put an effort into YouTube instead of other stuff for now? That might work. Instead of, I don't know, posting thirst traps. Because, soul, peace out, please. Instead of posting thirst traps, doesn't really seem like anyone fucking cares or wants them. Because they're traps! You just admitted what they fucking are! <laughs> And it doesn't go over well. In real life, you know, girls get killed because of that shit. God. And don't say post girl Because actually, no, that actually is not even the solution you think it is. Because, like, it doesn't matter if I post girl stuff. That also flops. It doesn't matter. Cause because you've driven away your fan base that was interested in that. There's nobody left. To, you know, not enough people left to care to, to make that money out of that. And like I said, the last one he did was fucking boring because you had no fire. There's no interest. There's no, the light in the eyes wasn't even there. It's like, you know, you're just going through the motions. I'm hopeful for, you know, if there's, if there's a video to go with that uh, serving wench thing because, you know, look at some of the videos. The only time you, your lights light up is when you're cuddling the cat. Otherwise, it's more of just, hi, here we are. Here's an outfit. Here's my ass. I, I I remember when we were still arguing on, uh, well, not even arguing yet. It was just talking on uh, Twitter. I said, I, I got a problem, you know, trying to enjoy a video if I know the person, the performer, is not really into it. This is part of it. Because that's part of the thing. It's like, I think that really drew people to your material is the fact you were, you were excited. You were, you were on fire. You were into it. This stuff, it's like it's the latest one. Like, you're not into it. It's like, yeah, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this move and then that move and then break out the Itachi. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you really don't want to be there. No, you don't give a shit. You'd rather be playing the you know, old animal, animal Crossing or And it's like, it, it, co it carries through. If you're not, if the, if the person on camera is not interested, then neither is the person going to be watching. So that's the only thing. You got to get the fire back, and you you doused it with this idiocy. Also, all of you, oh, just bring the girl videos back and be me, me, me. No, because y'all don't care about that either. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. The because you're pissing over everybody that does care about, it and they've they've gone. Nobody's coming back. It's like fuck her. She's an idiot. I don't know what the hell's going on now. Only incentive of me doing that is really just that I feel like doing it that day. I feel like cross dressing or whatever. So I was like, I want to do a cute outfit or a cute character or whatever. Yeah, very manly, cute character, cute outfit. Guys don't do that. I'm pretty sure you go look up gay guy videos, they're naked already. There's no outfit involved. <laughs> they're sitting there jacking off. Hey, how's this? So I want to keep doing it, but for that reason, not because it's um, somehow more lucrative than the boy stuff. It's actually not. Go figure. It's just that um, easier to market that than um, what I currently have to market. Yeah, it's easier to market that you, as a biological female, doing porn as a biological female. Yeah, it's kind of fall off the truck type of marketing. It's obvious. 
Whereas the shit you gotta do to try and even approach anything resembling a guy, you got a plastic dick that fools nobody. You got the binder on, so you can't, you know, so can't do bare chested shit. But you're not seeing anything in that. Like that Fourth of July thing. It's like that was even then. It's like you still you were just going, you know, you really weren't doing much in the guy portion. You didn't light up till you did the girl portion. And you really didn't need the bra. I could have just tied the shirt and done that. You wanted to mess with that stupid bra. But that's when you lit up when you get the girl and you're you're going for it, that one. Not down in my cabin. I, I cut off the boy part entirely. In the back of my head, I'm like, maybe getting on tea. I'll just fix everything. Maybe getting on tea and surgery will fix everything. You do not undergo these type of therapies on a maybe. That is the disaster written all over it. You only do that shit if it's confirmed. Yes, this will fix it. And the thing is, it won't. Nobody can do that. God, how stupid can you get for God? You're supposed to, you know, top marks in school. Both these times. You're a fucking idiot. You're doing this on a maybe. Because they're talking permanent changes on a maybe. Fucking think, Indy. Engage those mental gears for the first time in a fucking year and think. You are literally risking your life and health on a maybe. You're saying my argument's stupid? Where's the stupid part? You're, you're, you're about to jump off a cliff and maybe there's water down there. Maybe it's deep enough you're not going to smash on the rocks anyway. And all your idiot friends are, yeah, jump, you'll do it, you can do it, and just plack. And that's not a situation I would be where I told you so, okay? Let's head this off before you go splat, okay? It'll fix, it'll fix some stuff. No, it won't. You goes. don't fucking know that. Oh, you just said that. But, uh, it can make the rest of it worse. It could make it better. Could make it worse. And yes, could make it worse. Therefore, I'm don't do it. My ass right now at this point. For Christ's sake, what the hell's wrong with uh, you? So, yeah, blogs, uh, outfit try on video, whole fashion videos, cooking stuff. What should I fucking make chat? Wholesome videos. For YouTube content, yeah, the cooking stuff be good. Fashion stuff, whatever. I'm not a big fashion guy anyway. Again, that's kind of I like tomboys, you know, but. You like doing fashions? You've done how, how many different fashions over the years. So, yeah, for YouTube, go for it, you know? Should I just do a lot more anal? Should I just do a shit ton more no plot, just as lewd as possible videos? Should I do more parody stuff? Well, I'm not a fan of anal in the first place, so that's up to you, okay? I don't know why you're suddenly fixating on anal. If that, unless that's the only way your new fiance does it is anal. I said the only time that pussy gets violated is by yourself in a video. If anything, you're being horrible, the horrible and neglected. I want to think about that before marrying this idiot. What should I do? I'm not sure what direction to take, chat. <laughs> Give me guidance. All right. I'm ask. I'm the one. The one time. I'm asking you for some advice, chat, okay? Feel free. Feel free to let me know. I've been trying to give you guidance for the past year and a half, okay? You could have avoided a lot of this shit if you just listened to me once in a while. I'm curious. Because, I don't know, I've kind of tried a bunch of different things. Thrown it all at the wall a little bit. I mean, I still am trying other stuff. Other than just kind of waiting it out, I don't know what else to try. So... Let me know. Um, other than that, I'm definitely going to make some more YouTube videos. Should I make commentary videos? There's, ugh, I don't want to make commentary videos, actually. Everything to commentate on right now is depressing as fuck. We could talk about, like, TikTok drama or something. Yeah, you doing com... I wouldn't advise commentary. You get, you generally get in trouble when you do commentary videos. I think that's what the Belle Delphine thing was. You tried to do a commentary thing and you just got roasted. It's it's the the the, uh, the smoke is still rising from that one. Uh, 
you made a comment somewhere about how you know you didn't think that there was a kidnapping and trafficking thing going on the reservations. There most certainly is. And Rosetta tried to point it out to you and you blocked her. I was like, no, this is actually happening. In fact, they recently tried to make a move on her and a, and a, and a niece on a thing. You know, she had to book out you know area real quick because they, someone tried to make a move on. It's like, no, it is happening. You don't just block me because you don't like the unpleasant truth. That's the thing. You, again, you have a problem with reality right now. Pointing out the bloody obvious and that thing, why you you declared war on your tits because they're the bloody obvious fact. You are a girl. There's no getting around that. There's no rewriting that. There's no going back and trying it again. And I'm sorry, but why I also declare war on me? Because I'm also a concert manager of reality. I'm trying to point out the real world. Stop trying to rewrite history. You're not, you're not going to undo it, okay? What happened, happened. It sucks. And so far, you you. To this point, you've had a pretty good job, a pretty good you know run at building back and building something of it, but now you just trashed it completely. What else? I finally got my T levels tested so I can start. Whoops! Hold on. This, because I don't know. I've kind of tried a bunch of different things, thrown it all at the wall a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I still am trying other stuff. It's like dry spaghetti. Yeah, it's it's not working. It's depressing as fuck. Okay, now we're cut back TikTok up. drama or something. Find other random stuff. We can do politics. No, let's not do politics. No, let's not politics do politics. Po po politics is a blood right. sport. No. <laughs> Trust me on this one. Uh, so back to fashion and cooking videos. Positive things. Not commentary. Commentary is not positive. I see why Critical's stopping that for now. So please stop ripping up my fucking carpet. Stop stop anyway what do you think what do you think i'm gonna have so much repetitiveness in this or i'll be editing so much of this out anyway i'm gonna fucking go because i'm just repeating myself anyway i love you guys i will see you in the next video which will be sooner than the time between this one and the last one all right it'll be sooner i will post more frequently mm. maybe i'll do like a vlog of like Maybe I'll do like an aesthetic vlog or some shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go. Goodbye, chat. I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Thank you for those of you who stuck around despite me being a shadow band. I know that means you're searching out for me specifically, and I appreciate you for that. Or you're just lucky and your your for you page is blessing you with my stuff. You're like uh. the one person who is getting me promoted to. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Goodbye. Anyway, one last. Oh yes, this is a this is a manly thing. This let's see the skirt. Yeah. No, it it is actually. A cute, I'll give it. It, it is a cute outfit, but yeah. But. I just like the skirt. Yeah, the t-shirt. Probably better if you weren't wearing a binder, but. Yeah. Okay, bye. So let's pull that out here. Now again, Indy. Your your business is tanking because you have taken a very wrong turn and you're not backing off of it. Because you got a bunch of idiots cheering you on. They're not the ones that got to pay your bills, okay? They're not the ones looking at, you know, if this thing really runs off the rails of possibly having to be evicted from that apartment. Is your uh, fiancé making any money to you know, be able to support this situation? There's some speculation that uh, he, he's in there to sponge off your money. Well, then there will be much to sponge off of. This keeps going on. So, yeah, you ask for advice. Here's your advice. Get off this fucking train, okay? Time to re-engage with reality. You are a grown-ass adult woman. You're pushing 30. Maybe time to stop doing the uh, the stuff that appeals to pedophiles. Start doing some more adult content, okay? An adult as in uh, grown up. Move away from the, you know, stepsister gets caught sending nudes to her boyfriend type thing. Move, you know, move into the older characters type thing that you're talking about before. I'd also recommend you, like, knock it off with a binder. You're not fooling anybody. Get back, get back to sports bras or something, you know? 
I mean, you know, the underwear shit is a pain. That's a designed by some guy who doesn't have to wear them. Get the, the sports bars are probably the best way to go for now. Get off the fucking binders, okay? Let those fucking puppies breathe. Start transitioning back into being a woman, okay? Being a girl, acknowledging reality. And again, it's like <sighs> the girl stuff is not selling. And it's like, you may have already crossed the point of no return on that. You may have totally crashed and burned here. And there is no building back with what you got now. What you got before built up so damn big because it was a because you won. Your personalities came through. It's like, yeah, this is someone I would. I like this one, you know. She's fun. She, yeah. What you turned into now is not really fun. There's no fire in the eye. There's no spirit. There's nothing. It's like you just said it's there. You're talking about, oh, I'm, I feel much better. You can't, you look miserable. You're talking about you're totally depressed. It's like, yeah, because it's not working. You know it's not fucking working. And one I'm, I'm afraid of. You're looking at more and more extreme measures to try and get through it. It ain't going to work. It's going to make it worse because then it's like you can't walk that back. You can't get those discs back. The testosterone change the effects of the talk, it will be permanent. Going off testosterone is not going to change. It's not going to, you know, it won't go back. Those bones get stretched. They stay stretched. The voice box gets you know, crushed. It stays crushed. Body hair gets turned on. You're still going to have body hair for the rest of your body hair problems the rest of your life at that point. Are you ready to start shaving your face? Forever? And like I said, you do that and you will, and then you will experience genuine gender dysphoria. You will see what it's really like. What not what this not the garden variety stuff you got now. It'll be the real thing. And I don't think your state of mind you'll be able to handle that. So no, you need to get off this train now before you get to that destination because you will not like what you get when you get there. Okay. I can bring in a whole cavalcade of girls who have been there before, had the exact same issues you got. Some of the, some a little worse, but a lot of the same diagnoses they got. So, oh my God, what have I done? And a couple things happen at that point. Suddenly, all their supporters disappear. But also realize that one thing they wish they had in their life was someone to say, "You might be wrong on this. You want to rethink this." That's why I'm doing what I'm doing, Indy. I'm trying to be the one person saying, you were doing this wrong. Stop it. Back off from the cliff before you fucking fall to your death. And yes, I will be bringing this. I think I've put a lot in already on the court thing, but I will be saying this, Judge, why I'm being annoying and pissing, you know, pissing because I'm trying to save your fucking life. You seem bound and determined to run off the fucking cliff. There's one thing, it was just you by yourself. We probably wouldn't have gotten this far, but you got a whole cheerleader squad of idiots on the sidelines pushing away anybody else who might have you know, to speak up here. But I'm the only one of the whole group apparently that has a channel and a voice that you still actually listen to once in a while. Still gets through. Still waiting for these seeds to get planted and take root and you fucking wake up and realize, okay, I fucked up. Yes, the crazy old man stalker is right. I'm not a girl. I'm not a boy. Okay, fine. You happy? I'll be ecstatic. I'll be breaking open that bottle of wine I got in the kitchen. So yeah, that was their that was their rant video. And you know, again, also, do you want to watch it with their frequent edits there? Because it makes you look even more unhinged than you probably already are. And I will talk at you later. A sound soul dwells within a sound mind and a sound body.